we've seen personally. So hopefully we'll see uh, plenty of nice passing football here this evening. That loan going to have the first attack of the game. That's a ball in towards uh, Thomas Alua. That's a lovely little step over from Alua. Great shot as well. And uh, it's a good pair of hands there from Luke Dennison. From different wavelengths there. Wavelengths there, the two long for players. But here's Dean McMenemy. Lovely ball on the outside of the butt, uh, foot to Eric Malloy, who sends a lovely ball across the field to Graydon. Really positive first touch from him. He's going to have a cross in towards Verdon, and Verdon was not too far away, Tony. One of the Longford Town players read it. Backer, good low ball into Verdon. Verdon trying to use his strength here to hold off the Athlone Town. Number 19, Aaron McBride. There, who's extremely quick, extremely strong. If you can just get it in his general area, he's always got a chance of getting on the end of it. Making something happen. Loose touch from Schligerman. It's surely a penalty, and the referee says no. It looked like Schligerman had taken Sam Verdon down inside the penalty area. You would have had to question if that was this season for Athlone, but... He's going to chase this one down. It's Barnett. And that's a dangerous clearance from Barnett. And Longford could be a big trouble. It's Glenn McCauley. He lays it off to Armstrong. And it's a scuffy effort from Armstrong. It's easily gathered by Luke Dennison. But as a result, that loan have been able to funnel bodies back. Here's McMenemy with a beautiful switch again. Headed across towards Verdon. Verdon nods it down. McMenemy with the shot on goal. And Verdon got his toe on it. And Schlingerman was going the other way. Somehow he shifted his body across. And he's been able Here's McCauley. It's a good ball out wide towards Carlton. Carlton with the cross. It's blocked by Barker. It goes right across the six-yard box. And if there was anyone there in a white and blue shirt, they would have been tapping home to make it 1-0. Here's Shane Elworthy. Tries to play it around the corner to McMenemy, but it'll find Ryan Graydon instead. He lays it back to Elworthy. Good cross there from Elworthy. It's going to fall to Robinson. It's well wide in the end. Your left foot of Barnett, right foot of McMenemy. Like I said, Craven, Verdon, Barker, Malloy, they're all in the box here for Longford. It's whipped in by McMenemy. And it's going to fall to Craven at the back post. A little bit fortuitous how it fell to him, but it's a good finish from Craven. They've got another corner here. It's going to be Dylan Barnett to take it. Robinson gives him the short option, but it'll go into the middle. And it's a free header in the centre for Michael Barker. Athlon Town, they've been undone by a set piece. 2 0. Let's see what Barnett and Colt have up their sleeves this time. He gives the signal. This one is towards the six yard box. It's punched away by Schlingerman. It's back with Barnett, who has a shot on goal, and Schlingerman forced into a brilliant reaction save. That was a cheeky effort. And getting back and doing his defensive duties for Longford. And again, Robinson. With a quick ball forward up towards Verdon, but that was well dealt with by Aaron uh, McBride. Here's Craven picking up the second ball, as he often does for Longford. Craven driving forward, shot on goal, but unfortunately he's got under that one and he's skied over the bar. Robinson intercepts it. Second ball, though, picked up by Stephen Kenny. Lovely play from Kenny. And a good ball over the top towards McCauley. Good starting position from Luke Dennison to clear away the danger. He's done really well there. Of his career, that was the, his early days at Longford, but... Over 100 games on, he's still here. And uh, he's going to get some minutes off the bench. Here's Craven looking for his second. He's going to lay it off to Verdon. Verdon to Elworthy. He's looking for two on the spin. Scored in Wexford last week, but not his... Or in water towards Glenn McCauley. Good first touch from McCauley. He's held that up well. Switch now out wide to Uligan. He's done well to trap that first time as well. And he took on Dylan Barnett. But uh, I think that may have been across from Uligan, but there was no one in there anyway. Towards success. And uh, this game has become very end to end again all of a sudden. Not sure if that's what Gary Cronin will want, but if they get a third goal on for them, I'm sure he'd be more than happy. And they might get here through Craven. Almost an own goal, but it is cleared away in the end. Oh, Jared Malloy's come out to the right hand side. Now Ryan Graydon's gone through the middle with Sam Verdon going off. And here's Matthew O'Brien, who's playing as a number 10. And it's a good ball around the back from O'Brien. It's a chance for Graydon, but he was just on the stretch as he hit that one. And it's out for a goalkeeper. Longford Town really should have added to their two. And he stands over it for Athlone. Luke Dennison, two in the wall. Busy organising in front of him. Kenny whips it in. He's actually going to have a cheeky pop on goal. Luke Dennison, though, was alert to that. And uh, he gathers. First, Luke Dennison into any major work, despite some nice glimpses, some nice flashes some half decent openers for them but they haven't turned it into chances on goal Longford have plenty of those Ryan Graydon the latest man he's gone down and I thought the referee was going to signal for a penalty 